topic number five, polygons and triangle angles and sides. So for polygons, the number of sides or angles is gonna be represented by the letter N. The formula for the sum of the interior angles is always gonna be 180 degrees times N minus two. And the sum of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees, no matter how many sides there are. If you need to find one exterior angle, you're just gonna take 360 degrees and divide it by the number of sides. If you need to find one interior angle, you could take this formula and then divide it by the number of sides. But one exterior angle plus one interior angle add up to 180 because they form a straight line. So what you can do is do 180 minus whatever the exterior angle came out to be. And I think that's easier to remember. For tessellation or tiling around any point, the angles must add up to 360 degrees because basically they make a circle. So let's put this to use. Example number one, the floor plan for a model home, a modern home is modeled by the composite of the regular nonagon, which means it has nine sides, and the triangle shown. Find the measure of angle JKL. So JKL is this outside angle here. Since we know the sides of the triangle, are all the same. That means all the angles are the same. If you recall, the angles of a triangle add up to 180. If we divide that by three, we get that each is 60 degrees. For our interior angle, we know that 360 divided by nine gives us that an exterior would be 40 degrees. So the interior, subtract that from 180, must be 140. Since this whole thing makes a circle, 360 minus 140 minus the 60 for the triangle leaves us with 160 degrees for our outside angle so it's answer B. Example number two. A polygon is shown, what is the measure of angle U? So remember that these markings mean that they're the same. So X and X. If this one's got a single mark and it's 150, then this one also is 150. And remember that these mean that they are 90 degrees. So this polygon has one, two, three, four, five, six interior angles. So to find the total, we know we have to do 180 times six minus two, which gives us 720 degrees. So I'm gonna subtract the 90, 150, 150, and 90. And that leaves me with 240 degrees between these two angles. So then I'm gonna divide it by two and each one would be 120 degrees. So that's polygons. Now let's look at some important things from triangles. The largest side of a triangle is always straight across from the largest angle and the smallest side is across from the smallest angle. So in example number three, three boys are in a field flying kites. Viewed from above, the angle at Kyle, which is labeled K, is 45 degrees, and the angle at Jake J is measured 65 degrees. What shows the distance of the boys between the boys in order from least to greatest? So we need to start with the smallest first. Before we can do that, we need to figure out what this third angle is. So 180 minus 65 minus 45 leaves us with 70 degrees. Since we're starting at the least, I'm gonna start at the lowest angle, which would be here. I'm gonna go straight across my triangle. 
So this is the smallest side. So J L. So this one starts with a K, so that's not it, not this. LJ would be the same thing as JL. So then I'm going to go to my second angle, cross from that. That's my medium size, LK or KL. So which one has this letter D, has LK second, and then 70 was the biggest, so JK would be the longest side. Determine if a triangle exists. The small side plus the medium size has to be bigger than the largest side. So in example number five, John wants to make a triangular garden. Which of the following are possible dimensions? So the first thing you want to check is do the numbers go in order from smallest to largest? Six, eight, ten, yep, four, five, ten, good, eight, 12, 20, good, and 6, 6, 12. So they already have them smallest to largest, so that makes things a little bit easier. So 6 plus 8 equals 14, and that's bigger than 10. So right off the bat, we know it's A. So let's look at the others. 4 plus 5, that gives us 9. That's smaller than 10, so that doesn't work. 8 plus 12 is 20. 20 is equal to 20, not bigger, so it doesn't work. And the same with 6 plus 6 equaling 12. That also doesn't work. What if they asked you to find the possible length of a third side given the two? You're going to add and subtract the two given sides, and the third side has to be between those. So example number 6. Two sides of a triangle are 7 centimeters and 4 centimeters. Which measure could not be a length of the third side? So we're going to subtract them, and we get 3. And we're going to add them, and we get 11. So we know the missing side has to be in between th 3 and 11. So which one could not would be on the outsides of those. So 8.5, that's in between 3 and 11, so that would work. 12, that's bigger than 11, that won't work. 4 is in between, and 10 is in between. So the measure that would not work would be letter B. Go ahead and work on your practice problems.